Highly detailed geometric models are often represented as dense triangle meshes. Unfortunately, the huge size and irregularity of such meshes present challenges in manipulation, animation, rendering, transmission, and storage. In this work, we introduce a new surface representation, the displaced subdivision surface. We describe a simple, automatic scheme for converting detailed models into such a representation. This video will also provide some sample animations, review compression results, and discuss rendering issues and opportunities. A displaced subdivision surface represents a detailed model using a subdivision-based scalar value displacement over a smooth subdivision surface. Thus, both the domain surface and the displacement field are unified around loop subdivision. The representation is equally well posed for catmull clark subdivision. To convert a dense triangle mesh, into a displaced subdivision surface, the mesh is first simplified using a traditional sequence of edge collapses, augmented with the constraint that the resulting subdivision surface be able to describe the original surface as its offset. The resulting control mesh defines a smooth domain surface. We next optimize the control mesh vertices to make the domain surface more closely match the original. The result is a smooth version of the original model where those features that may be represented by an offset have been removed. The next step of the process uses ray casting to determine the offset of the original model from each domain patch. Each domain patch is sampled on a uniform grid. The product of this process is a loop subdivision surface that describes the domain surface with a piecewise regular scalar loop subdivision field representing the model detail. One alternative to using subdivision surfaces as the domain surface is to directly use the triangular facets of a simplified model. In this case, the displacements are calculated using normals interpolated across the planar faces of the domain mesh. As we see in this example, the representation does not behave well during animation. Animation of displaced subdivision surfaces is accomplished by manipulating the control mesh. In these sequences, bones were placed in the control meshes and used to animate the characters. While the animations are admittedly crude, they illustrate the smooth and predictable deformation of the displaced subdivision surface. Another strength of displaced subdivision surfaces is the ease with which they are compressed. Displaced subdivision surfaces allow fine detail to be compressed as a scalar valued function. In these examples, we see the original uncompressed mesh compared with the compressed displaced subdivision surface. In this final segment, we provide two simple examples of the scalable rendering of displaced subdivision surfaces. In the first sequence, the fidelity of tessellation is controlled by bounding the approximation error. Tangent space bump maps are easily computed from displaced subdivision surfaces. In the last sequence, we demonstrate the usefulness of bump maps computed as one representation of a model. In this video, we have presented displaced subdivision surfaces. We described a simple construction and reviewed some of their salient features. These features include their compactness, their ease of animation, and their inherently scalable nature.